All right, this would be a short video about how to detect a failed capacitor. Specifically, I want to talk about the electrolytic ones because these type of capacitors fail more frequently and more often than other types. There are three failure cases. The first one is easy to detect. Look at this one, uh, a bulgy top and uh, changes in the shape of the component. So whenever you see something like this on your board, on your board, you can make sure that it is failed and you're gonna replace that. Another example is this one. The top is okay, however, the bottom is like this. Let me show you the second case, which is trickier to detect. The shape is fine, no bulge, no problem at the bottom. However, to detect this type of failure, we need instrument the capacitance measurement an lcr meter like this or a benchtop multimeter with the capacitance measurement option so let me go to this and measure the capacitance of this capacitor i set on manual for the faster measurement let me see how much is capacitance how much is the capacitance of this one all right, it shows zero, zero. So this proves that this capacitor is totally dried out and it's useless. Do you see that? The shape was totally fine. However, this is a useless and this is, you cannot use this on a board. It causes problem. It does nothing actually. So for the second case, you need instrument. The third case is even trickier than this one. I don't have a sample to show you. However, I will explain this on this problem on this new one. This is 22 microfarad. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, this is a 22 microfarad capacitor and it shows 20.3. This is totally fine. However, when you pick up, when you pick up a capacitor and measure it and the tolerance was high even if it it was even if it it was not zero you're gonna replace that capacitor for example this is a 22 microfarad it shows 20 if this was 15 16 or something like that then definitely this capacitor has a problem and you're gonna replace that so that was a trickiest one tricky tricky case a failure so definitely you would need instruments to detect the second and third case and finally electrolytic capacitors fail when the temperature or the and and or the noise of the uh, environment is high and near the power components when the temperature is high when the noise is high those capacitors are suspicious first check these capacitors then you can then you go for other other areas of the board anyway i hope you liked this video give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe catch you next time